the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello to our angels, our kids, and our youth who attend with us SHIELD every week. Um, uh, I hope you're all well, and I hope you're all watching today. Uh, it, Today is the second week of Term 3. In Term 3, we are learning more about the sacraments of our beautiful church. Last week, Abuna Elijah uh, has given us a beautiful introduction about uh, the seven sacraments of uh, our church. Uh, let's remember it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are the sacraments that will take me to heaven. That's very easy to remember the number. Uh, and uh, he spoke about the sacrament of baptism and he also mentioned that we are going to speak uh, about them in order um, in the order that we uh, experience them in our lives and that makes more sense because they are all important. Um, uh, last week Abuna uh, spoke about the first sacrament which is the sacrament of baptism Today we are going to learn uh, more about the sacrament of chrismation. Um, the sacrament of chrismation is also called the sacrament of confirmation. And as Abuna Elijah mentioned last week, if you remember, that uh, every sacrament has a hidden grace that we receive and we don't see. And in this sacrament today, it's the receiving of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and he also mentioned that there is something that we see. Um, and uh, he also mentioned that in baptism, it's the water and the baby is just uh, put in the water three times. And uh, the baby comes out as a new member of the church today. In the sacrament of chrismation, we see the anointment of oil. Uh, and as usual, it is done by the priest or the bishop or the pope, of course. Um, the anointment of oil uh, is, is just um, uh, Abuna gets the holy oil and uh, it's called the holy oil of chrism or the holy oil of Mayroon. And we all know the word Mayroon. Um, and he anoints the baby uh, on his body 36 times. And remember that number is 36 times. Um, in the early days, uh, there wasn't anointment of oil, uh, but the apostles and disciples, they, um, they used to lay their hands on um, every person who uh, was baptized and accepted Christ in his life and became a Christian. Um, when Christianity spread all over the world, the apostles, they couldn't go uh, everywhere to put their hands on uh, each and every person who uh, was baptized. So uh, this is when they started the anointment of oil. Um, St. Mark, he got uh, some of the Mayroon oil with him to Egypt and he started using that in uh, this sacrament. Uh, Abuna Elijah mentioned last time that Mayroon oil was um, uh, taken from the mixture of the spices and perfumes that were used on the body of Christ when, um, after he died on the cross. Uh, but this oil um, runs out eventually. So the church um, used to use a small um, uh, or make a big batch, a new fresh new batch of the uh, spices and um, perfumes and they put what is left from the old batch on the new batch and that went on and on um, uh, through the years. Uh, I recall uh, Pope Kirolos has done a new batch and Pope Tawadros has done a new batch. And um, Pope Saint Athanasius, uh, he was the 20th Pope, he was the first one to do it in the Coptic Orthodox Church. 
uh, and he's taken the old batch from Saint Mark that was brought by Saint Mark and he's done a fresh new batch in Egypt. Um, let's talk a little bit about the sacrament itself. Abuna anoints the new baby, the, uh, uh, um, uh, the freshly baptized baby, uh, 36 times uh, in all different spots on the body. And it's just like if you imagine uh, the vaccination, how it protects the body from germs and viruses, it's the same thing. Um, the anointment of oil and receiving of the Holy Spirit protects the body, the senses, the joints from all evil. After the priest finishes the 36 um, uh, spots, he blows in the face of the, the baby and this is where uh, uh, this is when he receives the Holy Spirit. The priest then prays on a freshly uh, brand new white clothes and then he starts dressing up the baby and then he puts a ribbon, a red ribbon, across which reminds us of the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, for the youth who are curious to know where exactly does Abuna uh, do the 36 uh, anointments and I have here my daughter's baby and um, we will just show you where exactly does Abuna um, uh, anoints the child 36 times. Now we'll, they're, they're divided into groups. First group is the head and face. So on the head and face there are eight spots. Forehead, nostrils, mouth, right and left eye, right and left ear. Then we go down to the actual body where there is four spots, the heart and the belly and the back and the back. So two in the front, two in the back, but it's meant to be the heart, belly button and top of the back and lower back. That's right. Now we have two arms and two legs. So we have four sets left. We have three joints in the right arm, the shoulder, the elbow and the wrist, one front, one back, that's two, one front and one back, that's two, and one in the front and one at the back, that's two, so six points in the right arm and the same in the left arm. So it's targeting the joints. In the legs we have the hip and the knees and the foot, front and back, front and back, front and back, six on this side and six on this side. You can do the math, just remember the one, two, three, four, five, six batches of uh, uh, spots. Um, during during the the actual anointments, Abuna actually prays, and uh, is six sentences in the six um, uh, batches or six uh, um, groups of anointments. You can find that in the um, in the lesson that you will see, and it's really um, very holy and very uh, important to know that the sacrament of chrismation is the beginning of a new life for each and every one of us. The Holy Spirit just stays in here, um, teaches us, protects us and um, helps us through life uh, till our last day. Um, we have talked about the sacrament of chrismation today. Uh, I hope if you have any questions, 
um, you can just write it down uh, in the parents group. We have a WhatsApp group for all the three um, uh, um, different age groups. And uh, I hope um, that you do the challenge, the weekly challenge. Um, if you answer the questions, just uh, let your parents help you with uh, putting it on the group. And uh, we have um, presents for each and everyone who does the challenge. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's um, uh, lesson and we'll see you all uh, next week with the third sacrament and I think you I think you will guess what's this third sacrament which happens exactly on the same day of the other two sacraments which is the sacrament of Holy Communion. Glory be to God forever. Amen.